Hello and welcome to another edition of Ambient Talkie, a show where we dive into some weird and wacky equipment, wonderful, textural, ambient, call it whatever you want, music. I'm Andy from Two Round Robins and I hope you're ready for some experimental stuff. Today we're trying to pull magic out of plum butter. I've talked about this wonderful machine on the previous episode where we dived into more philosophical or even geographical elements of this drum and drama machine. So I suggest checking out that video first if you haven't seen it and then come back to this one. But by all accounts do as you wish. In this basic patch I'll try my best to incorporate every sound element that Plum Butter has. Uh, rather than something complete as PP is capable of far more than just your regular drum machine sounds or whatever. So we'll be just scratching the surface here uh, at this point. But I do encourage you uh, to take this basic patch as a starting point rather than something complete. So like I mentioned, I'll, uh, I'll try to incorporate every sound element that Plum Butter has to offer, but I'm gonna start out with a um, normal sequence by using, a, uh, by using the man with the red steam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the pulse out of Rose 5 into the clock input. And as you can hear, you, I mean, as you can see, there was some movement of light going uh, from bottom to the upper side and basically you see that kind of goes out so if you want it to be loopable what you can do is just take the last orange out into the data input which is this purple in and now if I press the button it will just loop it will just jump back to the starting point so let's put a sequence in and what I like to do is just start one so there we go, and another one. So I have a bit of space in between those. Like I think it has like two, uh, two balls there. Okay, so next off, we can hear that we're not getting any sound yet. Well, because we need a sound source for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna incorporate my gongs. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna take the red outs here into the green ends of the gong, and we can maybe, hear the first sound. We can have this, so you can hear a kick. Hmm. Maybe we can use the gong too at the same time. And now it has like a little movement, but I'm gonna destabilize it a bit by delaying the signal here. So I'm just moving this. As you can hear, it has like this tic-tac sound. We have a groove going on, somewhat, you know. But let's try to add some fluidity into our little uh, section here. So for that, I'm gonna use the AV dock. So I'm gonna take another rolls out into the green end of the AV dock. And if I move this, you can hear it. And this like gives us a somewhat droney sound uh, to the whole instrument. You can obviously change the pitch. gonna leave it there for now. Now what what else we can do is we can by all accounts try to use the ultrasound sound. I'm gonna try to dirty up this thick sound that we get from Gong 2. I'm gonna maybe take the audio out into the input in. And you can hear the ultrasound going. 
and basically changing the sound element of the stick sound. So if I try to solo this up, you can hear it. So I'm just trying to find, uh, I'm changing the bass frequency here, just trying to find what kind of works for this environment that we're creating now. Okay, but you know, this is all fine and great, but let's try to destabilize uh, the rhythm here or the movement here a bit more. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take another pulse, put it into the ultrasounds and you can hear it in the background, it starts doing something. And I'm, I'm gonna do it even more by just taking more pulses. Okay, now it has some movement maybe even here okay you can hear it all over the place it kind of it kind of has this thick sound this very electricity vibes with it and speaking of electricity i think we can do something with the dust section here which is probably my favorite part about the plum butter so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the dust out into the inputs of this ultrasound. And now we're getting a bit more noisy, right? You can hear that. It's fairly lovely. And I, I really like quantum dust here. I think like for for all the noises that the seal world offers and everybody's talking about Coco Quantus and its noise, its 8-bit noise, but you know, I find Quantum Dust to be a far superior noise generator than that. I just find this, it's like a little mixture of uh, rustling leaves and electricity. It's like so perfect in a way. Okay, enough about with me rambling, let's move on. I can see here that we still haven't incorporated the snare sound. So of course, you can have a normal snare, let's say, you know, it's a normal snare, but for this one, maybe we can use the hottest signal out of, uh, out of the ultrasounds and just have a constant white noise texture in the background. And you know, I think that's far more ambiental in a way. That's far more, for me, even soothing. It has like this, the sound of it. <laughs> it's quite nice. All right, so what else? Um, I see here that we still haven't incorporated the AV dock too. And we can do that by hmm, maybe using the audio out of Gong One as the trigger for the AV dog. There we go. And as you can hear, we have some movement in the noise section of this whole environment, but not nothing really spectacular in the, uh, in the let's say, more transient-like stuff that's happening with uh, the gongs and the AV dogs. So maybe, by putting the, um, what's this thing again? I think it's the inverted envelope out of uh, Gong. I'm just gonna put it here into the FM modulation. And we have, we have a bit of like, you can hear it if I just take this one out. You know, it kind of has that thing. It's quite nice. We can we can try the same thing with um, AV Dock too. So I'm just gonna take the maybe the orange out of Man with the Red Steam and just gonna put it into the FM in. Okay, now we completely change the picture. You can hear it. You know, it, it has become somewhat darker. If I take this out, listen. 
it's just like this little no nah, it's like a like a little annoying dog just wanting some attention and now the big dog comes and you know it's far more in it's far more aligned to the movement of the second dog here so it, it's kind of like it's I, I find this better so this is again we're just exploring we're trying to see kind of kind of what works kind of what doesn't you know it's a basic fact but still you know leave your options open man um what else we can do is if we if we listen to this quantum dust it still has some some stuff going on here like but maybe we can add even more movement so what i suggest is let's try using the let's try using hmm yeah let's try hmm, let's try using the av dog the movement of this into this ah you can hear it like it's wagging its tail it's it's pretty it's pretty nice actually so let me try maybe using this gong here Okay, now we have some movement. I love about Quantum Dust and AV Docs combinations. You know, it kind of, kind of moves. You can you can see the leaves, the rustle, kind of move in the wind. So I'm sorry that I did. I, uh, I think I, I touched my microphone, but whatever. So take a listen here. It's pretty nice. Okay. So, uh, the only sound element that we haven't used now is maybe the deer horn. Yeah, it's the deer horn. So, of course you can play the deer horn, but just move in your hand. And you can jam with it, try to do some, some controlled human movements, the whole thing. But, for this badge, what we can do is maybe we can self oscillate see what sticks see what doesn't so i'm gonna take another patch cable i'm gonna use the orange out of of the uh gong two here and maybe another orange out out of gong one and put it into orange and because to self oscillate the deer horn Orange to orange is usually the key. And if you take a look here, if I move this knob here, so let's just wait for it to receive the messages and be aligned with the environment that we're trying to create. And as you can see here, do you see this lights here going on, on and off, on and off? It's self oscillating. So let's bring it into the mix. And we got some deer horn movement, so they kind of play with it, with whatever's happening in the suburbia. And we're we're actually using the suburbia to influence the forest. And we have something going on. And I think, like for a basic patch, that's mostly it. You know. And this was my own take on what a basic patch in plum butter is. For those that aren't familiar with the whole world of PB, you can try this patch yourself just, just as a starting point. Of course, just follow along, I guess. But I do encourage you to be adventurous, to basically try out different things. Because you can see here, we haven't really incorporated that many, you know, patch connections that we have here. Because you can influence so much more, you can modulate so much more. More or less what we have done is just using the pulses out to control the suburban area of uh, plum butter. So, you know, like I said, I do encourage you to be adventurous, to try out different things. Uh, a suggestion that I used is a suggestion that I can give to you and I think that I used in the past was basically I got myself a little notebook, opened it up, took a pen and just 
kind of wrote what kind of works, what doesn't. But at the end of the day, you know, it's it let's you know let PB control you as much as possible at times, or at least you know it's a somewhat tameable instrument, but. At times, it's really great when it just takes the wheel and lets it and influences you in in what way you decide to patch it. So that's kind of great. Um, I'm still struggling to think about the next topic for the ambient talkie. So um, for that, if you have any ideas, suggestions, recommendations, or just want to say hi, I do encourage you to leave a comment below. Uh, I'll, you can check out my mm, jam videos in order to see what kind of gear I have and what exactly I can show you, or at least try to explain in my way uh, how I use it and how I incorporate it in uh, how I incorporate it in the in my textural adventures that we have here. So please join me next time. And if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the evening, morning, or afternoon, whenever you might be watching. And hopefully, I uh, will see you next time. Take care.